Thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight at 10, a grieving father is speaking out after his son was shot and killed in Antioch and then his body was tossed out of a car and left in the middle of a street. Police just made an arrest in this case. Authorities caught the suspect in East Tennessee after he fled from Nashville. Our Danielle Jackson joins us in studio tonight. You just spoke to the victim's father, Danielle. Tracy, that's right. The father says he's glad an arrest was made in this case, but living with the reality that his son is no longer here is something he'll never get used to. I won't wish this on my worst enemy. These images of Kelvin Stowers Jr. are memories his families are now left with after he was shot to death, then thrown out of a car. Nobody deserves to get thrown out like they trash and shot and thrown out like trash. It's just that's really the part that really hurt me the most right there, just thinking about his last couple of minutes of his life, how it went, and he didn't deserve that. His father, stricken with grief after finding out his son was killed so violently early Saturday morning on Keeley Drive. <laughs> this is surveillance video of Metro Police responding to the scene. Police say he was shot inside of a vehicle, then the suspect left his body near the intersection of Haywood Lane and Keeley Drive. His father shares what his son was doing hours before the shooting. Yeah, they was going out, have a good time or whatever. They left the club with some of his friends and he, um, I guess they went to another little setting or whatever. And when he left there, he thought he was headed home because I think he called his friend and told him to unlock the door. He was on his way home, but he never made it home. The guy that took him home, Obviously, they stopped on the side of the road and shot him in the head and throwed him out on the side of the road and left. David Henry, the 28-year-old suspect, was spotted by a Tennessee Highway Patrol officer after Metro Police issued an alert on Henry's vehicle. He was arrested in East Tennessee. The recent arrest is partial relief for this grieving father who says his son didn't deserve to die. Oh, my son was a great kid, loved by everybody, and he didn't deserve that right there. It's a hard pill to swallow because... Yeah. I, I've known people that lost their kids, children, and I can only imagine what they go through, but unfortunately now I know. In Nashville, I'm Danielle Jackson for WSMV4.